A couple weeks ago, I made a video about, like, a fucking terrible pinworm father that was in, in our assholes and was on Twitch who yelled at his toddler son to shut the fuck up in his face because he lost a game of Madden. Or, yeah, it was, yeah, it was Madden football. And recently, there is a different father on Twitch that, uh, did something much fucking worse and blew this guy out of this fucking puddle of cum. What he did was absolutely horrendous and terrible. This guy is one of the angriest people I've ever seen on Twitch. He makes Del the streamer Deller look like a fucking baby cheetah t when it comes to rage, since cheetahs can't even fucking roar. He was playing a game, I don't know which one it was, and he had a fucking Winter Soldier episode on his daughter, yelling at her, which obviously scares the shit out of her, like what any child would be. Uh, this clip is cut into two parts, but the clip isn't very far from the first video, meaning like the clip or the cut isn't really like separated as much. But the second one is him yelling at everything, including his daughter, to get the fuck out of his room and listen to this fucking shit. He also said that he would break her fucking neck over a fucking video game. Her three year old daughter was threatened by his, her own father that he would break her fucking neck over a game. Like, are you fucking kidding me? The clip is very disturbing and sad, and his fucking action in this clip is unfucking acceptable There's no excuse to abusing your children, even if they act bad, you don't hit nor yell at them at all, including your pets. Don't, do not do that shit. Take care of your children and your pets than being on a video game and streaming. Now, you might be thinking, how how did Pandora's asshole, or, excuse me, how did Pandora's box get opened about this? Like, how, how did people find out? How, how did this spread? Well, in the clip, he was killed by another Twitch streamer and then figured out that that guy that, who was killed was a Twitch streamer and he was already streaming and he wanted to see his reaction. So, he went over to that guy's profile and watched the stream, and I mean, the streamer got his reaction. But it was unfortunately not what he wanted for, for everybody and him because he pretty much just listened and watched to f uh, fucking child abuse happening in the background. So when he saw this, he uh, he clipped it and it posted this shit. It posted this shit onto Twitter to spread the message. The guy, di the guy, the abuser, actually happened to have uh, or see this on Twitter. And he decided to blow smoke up his asshole. If a whole fucking skyscraper burnt and fell to the ground, he collected all of that smoke all around him, just formed a little bubble, and it inserted that ship right up his colon. Let me show you what this man said on Twitter. This dumbass hemorrhoid decided to go on Twitter and make excuses for himself, which didn't fucking work, obviously. He said, Anyone who believes that edited ass clip is severely misinformed, while I don't dismiss that I got overly upset and was definitely 100% talking about my dog, the guy who I banned from my stream edited it to not seem so, but that's what it was. This fu this is so fucking stu- dumb. Uh, yeah. There's only one edit in the fucking clip, and that's a little cut. It also isn't far from the second clip, because, or what I mean by that is because you tried to start a different match at the beginning of the second clip, and you were already in a lobby at the end of the first clip because you died. So, like, this ha the cut happened in a short period of time, so, and, the, or, and this whole situation did as well. This wasn't an edited clip like my fucking YouTube poop where I made Penguin Zero say that he's gonna suck on Nikocado Avocado's titties. Not at all. Then for you to go on to say, like, that you were yelling at your dog, that you were going to, like, break its neck doesn't make it any fucking better and makes you look like an animal abuser. No one's gonna look at that and think, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. He was trying to kill his dog and perform necrophilia on it. Jesus Christ, my cock can stay hard. My God. Good thing there wasn't that kid, or good thing that kid didn't get its ass whooped by the father. Then someone replies to him and, sa and it says, You really said I threatened to break my dog's neck, not my three-year-old son, and admitted to hitting your dog because you got angry and think it sounds any better at all? 
and shit like that. Which, which is a, wh that was a pretty good argument from him. That that's good. That's good against this fucking sack of being a loser. Then the guy uh, digs himself his own grave and buries himself six feet under for what th this guy fucking says next. This guy is the biggest dumbass you'll ever see, and also he's also a dumbass because he can't fucking spell for shit. But listen to this. Yes. Yes, it is. I am allowed to whip my dog's ass for being bad. Dude, she's a pit. Laugh my fucking ass off. I whooped her butt twice and made her leave my bedroom. Laugh my fucking ass off while I wasn't o while it wasn't okay to sound so mad. It really wasn't what the guy edited it out to, uh, edited it to be. Like it. This guy sucks. This guy absolutely sucks. The biggest cock ever. He he just admitted and confirmed that he's a pet abuser. It doesn't ma it doesn't matter what kind of dog breed this is. It's not okay to hit your dog, and and this loser thinks it's fine. This guy is absolutely disgusting, and he's lying. It is terrible. His lying skills are terrible. If you believe the shit that he's saying, you're a fucking idiot, and he's being disingenuous to you all, and he needs to face jail time for this shit, for abusing his daughter, and admit it, and he admitted for abusing his dog, so animal abuse as well, if that's, if you can have a felony for that, which I'm pretty sure you can, I'm not really sure about the whole animal abuse thing, because I don't really come across animal abuse shit, which is good, but... Uh, to, for the start of this whole cancellation cancellation shit for this guy, well, he's been banned off of Twitch. So, uh, yeah, that's a start. Then here's his last appearance about the situation. He said, fucking, I'm gonna go ahead and say one more time to all that are concerned, I'm sorry I reacted the way I did. I did overreact, I did overreact, but my overreaction was in no way directed at my kid. That video was edited slander of me yelling at my dog, though, it, that doesn't excuse my anger. Please realize. Well, no, fuck that. Fuck that shit. I was honestly half expecting him to tell, telling us something about how for, fucking Fortnite made him angry, which caused him to destroy his setup, that's one, then shove his camera up his asshole while everybody was watching on the live stream, and then ended up fucking his cat and punting it across his neighbor's house like a fucking, an, an, uh, like an NFL field goal. But I just wanted to talk about this and spread the awareness of this guy, and if you are watching, kill him if Cam, that's a fucking silly, stupid ass name, eat shit. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.